In a little pub in London, Moriarty drank his beer and recited wondrous stories of his exploits far and near. Singing out his song, said Kelly, best of order, one and all. Then Moriarty sang for them the hills of Donegal. There was cheering at the finish and they called in core and core. Moriarty said, listen lads, I can't sing any more. So he stood there sad and silent and gazed into his beer. And in his eyes there glistened, starting of a tear. Are you going home for Christmas, the kindly barmaid said. Moriarty fixed his gaze on her and slowly shook his head. Sure, I haven't been to Ireland now for twenty years or more. My mother would hardly know me if I walked up to the door. I was born, said Moriarty, on an island of the West, the last place God created, but the first place that he blessed. We were poor, but we were happy in our simple little way. My God, I wish I was a boy again to live my youthful days. My father, God be good to him, was drowned one woeful night, and my mother left all lonesome, and myself to work and fight. So was Donald Rua McCarthy and young Michael O'Gushay, I came across to England to earn an honest pay. I told my dear old mother I'd soon be home again, but the curse of drink came over me and enslaved me in its chains. So I haven't been to Ireland now for twenty years or more, but I know she's still there waiting for my footsteps at the door. Then someone started singing, See amid the winter snow, It was like an old bell ringing, Far away and long ago. Moriarty stood and listened, Then pushed his glass away, and he made a solemn promise he'd go home for Christmas Day. So he scraped up every penny he could get into his hand and coming up to Christmas, he sailed for Ireland. His heart was filled with gladness and he felt content at last as the train rolled through the midland that brought him to the west. In the village of Kinshila, that night upon the shore, Far across the deep blue waters, he saw his island home once more. The stars were shining brightly, sure they glistened like a dome, on that little whitewashed cottage was Moriarty's home. "'Tis a grand night for the sailing," said the boatman Thomas Bond. Moriarty didn't know he'd been away so long. So they climbed into the boarding, and the boatman heard him say, Thank God, thank God in heaven, I'll be home for Christmas Day. In a little room in London, Moriarty's poor abode, on a table in the hallway, a message lay on red. The message said, Dear Danny, your poor mother has passed away. She'll be buried in Kinshila after Mass on Christmas Day. <laughs>